Hi, and welcome back to Heart and Soul Homes. My name is Monica. Today, I am sharing with you um, how I decorate for kind of the smaller holidays. Not smaller, but you know, I go big at Christmas. I go big in, in the fall, and I go big at Easter. Um, the other holidays, like what we have coming up for today's video with Valentine's Day, I have kind of in the last couple years changed and what I do is I just go ahead and um, decorate my front porch. After the big Christmas holiday, it is a lot of color and a lot of stuff around my house. And so I use that opportunity to kind of just let the house breathe, keep it, you know, pretty, you know, neutrals and um, that kind of stuff. But for these kind of holidays, I just decorate out front and it just kind of gives it a fun, um, whimsical, I'm not seeing it in my face all day, but it is there and I see it each day as I am out on the front patio. So that's what we're working on today. I'm kind of just giving you an overall and then um, I'm just going to be cleaning up and then uh, decorating and then showing you in the night what it looks like. Valentine's Day is very easy um, to shift into after Christmas because obviously with Christmas, there's a lot of red, um, possibly some white. Um, and so you, you know, if you do multiple trees or you do, um, you know, like one thing I started doing, um, I used to do a bit like our big Christmas tree after it was uh, Christmas, I would turn it into, transform it into a Valentine's in the family room. But as I've kind of shifted and changed, um, having that kind of a tree in my everyday space was a little bit much. So then I did a smaller tree in my entryway and I would just do the entryway. And now, um, I think the outside, the front patio is absolutely perfect. Again, I see it, you know, each day but it's not in my everyday, you know, or every, you know, moment of, of my day with seeing that. And I think that is the ticket for me. But uh, my point being is that if you have trees and you, you know, you love that color and you love all this stuff, you know, it, they're very easy to transition. Uh, even a candy tree. I've done a lot of candy, uh, like Candyland trees, and then just transformed them into 
Valentine's Day. So that's a that's a tip. That's a fun way if you enjoy that.
enjoyed this video and just kind of a fun little way of how I decorate for, for Valentine's Day. And again, using the, the Christmas base um, and then transitioning trees, uh, transitioning the reds into Valentine's Day. Um, if you love that inside the house, then that's a great way. Um, it's super, super fun and easy. Uh, and, or, you know, if you've got a space, you know, like a little bit of a front porch and you don't want the actual decorations in your face, you know what I'm saying? Like there all the time, that's an option too, to do it just in a small area or like I used to do it in my front entry only. Um, you know, think of those kind of things as you uh, are decorating and thinking of how you can uh, just celebrate life. And I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel so much. And if you um, have not subscribed, please do so right now. I would love to have you join um, our YouTube family here and where we just bring a little positivity and happiness and light to this part of the internet. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.